Hello, my name is Robert Whitwood and I'm the Managing Director of Inspire Change. We're going to have a look at the balanced scorecard now when we're going to specifically look at organisations and businesses which operate in the service industry. So these businesses could be offering services B2B, uh, business to business, or B2C, business to consumer. But what we're looking to do here is drive operational excellence specifically in that service industry. So first of all, let's just remind ourselves what DRIVE stands for from a service industry point of view. So we're going to be looking at the direction the organisation is taking, the resources required to finance the organisation, impressing your customers past, present and future, looking at the vehicle to deliver your services and the evolution engine of passion, performance and people. So how can I apply this to my service organisation? Well, again, what we'll use is the pyramid to visualise the different parts of your organisation that you're going to look at. Strategy is driven downwards, direction, resources, impressing the customer, vehicle and evolution engine. And we're going to drive performance back the other way. So let's have a look at a simple service organisation. Again, we're going to build the pyramid up with the different aspects. The goal that we're going to look at here is to maximise the wealth. Ultimately we're running a company here so we need to grow the company in terms of its value. We'll in look at some simple financial management measures. We'll look at return on investment. So again, although what you're providing is a service, you might involve, um, invest in technology to enhance your service. So we'll need to look and see if that's giving a return. In terms of the customer, we'll want to look at the service you're providing in terms of what they need and how that compares in the marketplace. We'll look at your organisation's reputation and image and we'll look at your client relationship. In terms of the vehicle we need to understand how your service is being delivered, whether that could be through service level agreements, process efficiency or some sort of feedback mechanism in terms of the effectiveness of your service. We need to consider the support services and other departments that support what you're trying to do and how you're delivering that to the customer and we'll need to put some consideration into safety environment and quality. Now one of the things that we need to consider here is remote working or maybe some of your staff on the road working in isolation so it's very important that we look at safety environment and quality. The final aspect is consider passion performance and people so we need to look at the engagement of the staff those working at head office for example and those working at the coalface de de dealing directly with the client. We need to look at the skills of the people and we need to look at constant innovation and continuous improvement as new technology comes on stream and helps you deliver a better enhanced service to your customer. Finally let's consider the benefits of drive to a service industry. Well, what we're looking to do is maximise the services for your customer and we need to do that in the most profitable way. We want to look at collective monitoring of performance in all areas of your organisation, so not just those that are in front line delivering the service to your customer, but all those that help facilitate it within the organisation. We want to make sure that the whole organisation is completely aligned behind the success of the organisation and that could mean making sure that everyone is customer focused in everything that they do. Ultimately what we're driving for is to become the leading service provider in the marketplace and that could be local, it could be national, it could be global. But ultimately what we want to be doing is being recognised as the best. Thank you.